ticked through T minus eight minutes. I'll let you know you've got a whole bunch of people rooting for you here and indeed all over the world. Godspeed, Axiom 3. Some really nice words there coming to us from Commander Michael Lopez Alegria. Uh, we are now approaching seven minutes until liftoff of the AX3 crew. The next event that we'll hear is that stage one engine chill has begun. Engine chill has started. And just on time, that call out tells us that we are now flowing a little bit of the super chilled liquid oxygen through the engines, through those turbo pumps to help bring the temperature down of that hardware. This helps us to reduce any chance of thermal shock whenever the full flow of that super chilled liquid oxygen uh, flows into the engines. Locks load continues for Falcon 9. We're fully Stage one, RP1 load is complete. So good call outs there that we have completed loading RP1, which is a highly refined type of kerosene on board stage one of Falcon 9. You've got that great view on your screen. As we mentioned earlier, Falcon 9 is an RP1 and liquid oxygen fueled vehicle. So LOX fueling continues on the vehicle on both the first and second stage. Blue skies there at the launch site. We're launching out of pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. We are 60% go for those weather conditions, which we're always keeping an eye on around the Florida um, airspace. Next event that we have coming up is the uh, terminal count for Dragon. This involves a, uh, a couple of things, but primarily just means that Dragon will be transitioning to uh, internal power. Great view there of the Dragon capsule, as well as the Dragon trunk, which is the unpressurized section just below the, the pressurized section, which of course is where we have the crew sitting. Propellant remains underway. We are completely loaded with all of our RP-1, that rocket grade uh, kerosene. We're still underway. Falcon 9 tanks are pressing for Stromback retract. Dragon is in configure for terminal count. So like Kate mentioned, we are heading into terminal count and Falcon 9 is ready for that configuration. We also just heard the call out that the Falcon 9 tanks are pressurized for strong back retraction. The strong back is that white structure you see to the right of the vehicle right now. That's used not only to connect the vehicle's umbilicals, but also as a structural support system. The strong back is retracting? Up until it begins to retract, which we just heard the call out for here. That's the mechanism we use both to move the rocket out to the launch side and pull it into its vertical orientation ahead of launch. We now can, we'll keep, we keep an eye on those. it as it retracts slightly here on your screen. We'll be able to see those clamp arms begin to open. And there they are now. And then that strong back will retract a couple degrees away. It will retract even further upon ignition of the engines to clear the way for Falcon 9's ascent. As I mentioned before, RP-1 is completely loaded onto the vehicle. We're still loading liquid oxygen onto the first and second stage. And obviously some happy cheers as the crowd is growing outside of Mission Control Hawthorne, as you see there on your screen. It's always awesome to have uh, an astronaut launch, but especially one during the day. <laughs> stage one lock load is complete. With that confirmation, we know that stage one is fully loaded. Team is thrilled to hear that news behind me. Lift off stage one combined between that RP-1. Dragon is in terminal count and is on internal power.
there is confirmation that Dragon is on internal power and headed into the final minutes of our countdown. As I was saying earlier at liftoff, Falcon 9 will be burning nearly 700 gallons of fuel per second. Great views there too of our crew inside Dragon, awaiting liftoff just over two minutes from now. We're now standing by for completion of locks load on the second stage. Just topping off. And there's that call out. And more cheers from our crowd here in at Hawthorne, California. Dragon is in auto idle. Confirmation there that Dragon is in auto idle. Wow, great view of 39A on your screen right there as we head toward launch. Gas close up and started. Expect loud venting. Call out to our crew there that loud venting is expected. Falcon 9 is in startup. There's that confirmation. Dragon is in countdown. Confirmation that Falcon 9 is in startup and Dragon is in countdown, which means that the vehicles are now controlling the final seconds as we lead up to liftoff. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. And there's confirmation from our flight director. Go for launch. We are go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, ignition, engine full power, and the stop. Go acting three. Further beyond, opening the door for more to follow. Godspeed AX3. Stage one propulsion is nominal. If you are just joining us, this is the launch of the Axiom 3 launch to the International Space Station. Those incredible views on your screen, and there's our first shot of the AX3 crew inside Dragon on Ascent. Now, in just a few seconds here, we should hear the call out that Falcon Normal 9. Power and telemetry. Stage one throttle down. There's that call out that Falcon mm -hmm. 9's engines are throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure during ascent. Max Q. There's that call out for Max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that Falcon 9 is going faster than the speed of sound. Now at this point, we will begin to throttle Falcon 9's engines back up. Stage one throttle up. There's that call out for mission control as well. As our AX3 crew continues on their way to space. We're now T plus one minute and 32 seconds into flight. The next event we have is MVAC chill, similar to what- MVAC we, chill underway. There's that call telling us that, again, we're flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid oxygen. Stage one Bravo. Copy one Bravo. That call there was one of the abort mode call outs that uh, the crew is calling out as they are uh, making their ascent on Falcon 9. Now, we're less than uh, 30 seconds or a few seconds away from four events that will happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, as it's there on the bottom of your screen, stage separation, ignition of the first stage engine, and the first stage is boot.